Hello everyone, Tennessee Tactical back at it again with another video today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the complete upper receiver for the SDI DPMS uh, DR10 or AR10 chambered in 308. So I've just completed my upper receiver and technically would be completed the whole rifle, but I want to tease you guys every video. I'm going to make, you know, one on the lower receiver that I made. This one's about the upper and then uh, next week I'll make a video uh, on the complete rifle review and uh, some uh, range shots as well. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the upper receiver. So uh, things that we had installed um, or I had to install would be the forward assist, the ejection port cover here, um, as well as the barrel uh, into the upper receiver with the barrel nut the gas tube which you can't really see the gas the barrel nut you can't really see either uh, the gas port um, as well as the muzzle device um, and i added these uh, magpul imbus flip ups just um for the heck of it because i wanted to um, now i want to make a disclaimer whenever i went to install the um, muzzle device on here the flash hider the a2 bird cage i had come to realize that the crush washer that SDI had sent or DPMS, whatever, uh, was not the correct crush washer. This is for uh, 556223. I need one for 308. So I did contact the school and they are sending one in the correct caliber over to me. Uh, and that's actually already shipped out and on the way. But we do have the muzzle device on there. It's just not um, set in and threaded in with the crush washer. But it, it is on there pretty tight. So. Um, how was the upper receiver build? I mean, there really wasn't much to it. I, I really feel like the upper receiver was a lot easier to install than the lower receiver. Um, if you're wondering the semi uh, torque specs for the barrel, I torqued it at 35 foot pounds. Um, I think 30 is the minimum, but I went a little bit more to 35 just to give that extra, um, that extra foot pound in there. Um, so overall, I mean, this is really a, a really cool thing here. Um, and then all I got to do is slap this on the lower and it's technically done. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, everything works. I mean, I've, I mean, obviously I haven't shot it yet, but everything should work to its uh, specification and everything. And um, yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's very, very short, just showing you uh, the upper receiver that I built. Uh, but before you go, I want to mention something real quick. So if you go to my channel and you go to the community where you can like type stuff as you know the creator or whatever i've created a community um like a message more or less in that message it describes something that is definitely optional so i want to go ahead and explain that because i haven't i don't think i've got a lot of uh, traction on on that community message so i want to go ahead and kind of explain it here since we've got a little bit of time so in no way is this an obligation um but I want to keep this channel alive. I mean, I, I hope and aspire one day to be like Brandon Herrera or Kentucky Ballistics or do something crazy like that, but you got to start somewhere. So um, this channel, I want to keep it alive for gun reviews, firearm reviews, uh, it, all things firearms, basically. And if you really like what I do here and uh, you're hoping to see more in the future, I have a cash app that is open and active. It's not obligated. You're not obligated to donate anything. And if you don't want to donate anything, I'm not going to think of you any differently. Uh, the reason why I set this up is because I'm at the stage in my life right now where I'm getting ready to graduate in the next couple weeks from SDI. And then I really don't know what else I'm going to do as far as content for you guys. I mean, I, I might make the occasional video, but I, I don't really know what else to, to make for you guys because I don't have all the firearms in the world. So with that being said, there are a couple things on my mind, um, on my list that I want to get in my hands to review for you all and give you all my uh, feedback. Um, some things definitely hot off the press, the Springfield Echelon. I want to get that in my hands to review for you all. Um, if it's something you feel like you want to donate to help support the channel and help get to the point where I can purchase that and then make a review on it. I would much appreciate any kind of donation would help. But again, if you don't feel like you want to or you just don't have the money, you don't, I mean, it, whatever, I, it's it's not an obligation. So it doesn't really matter to me. But for those of you who would like to, it doesn't hurt to ask. Um, like I said, I want to keep this channel alive. So any kind of donation would help towards any kind of review. And, you know, another thing too, if you want to, you know, donate 
and you want me to purchase something specific and review it that you want to see, um, you can definitely email me and, and tell me what you want me to purchase with your money. Uh, so I've got my email set up on this channel as well. It's coopersgunsandammo at gmail.com. You can just email me and, you know, if, if you want to donate and if you want me to purchase something specific with it, let's say if you donate $50 and you didn't want it to go towards the Springfield Echelon, but you wanted me to review a certain box of ammo, uh, then you could, um, you know, you could just email me and say, hey, I would like for you to review this type of blah, blah, blah with this, this money. So it's so whatever you guys want to do. Um, I'm just throwing it out there because I really, really want to keep this channel alive. A couple other housekeeping things I want to mention. Um, <laughs> the vertical video type that I always do that's been kind of a tradition on this channel, I don't really necessarily like. This is just something that I jerry-rigged together because I didn't have the means to do anything else. Um, I used to do YouTube back in the day on an old gaming channel I used to have, but it's it, this is a lot different because back then I was plugging stuff up to like my Xbox to record. This is different. This is recording on like a camera or what I use as an iPhone to make these review videos. So the quality of these videos, I am uh, looking into doing higher quality stuff, um, doing some video editing so it's not just raw footage. Um, and so hopefully, you know, I, I'm going to get to a point where I can start doing higher quality things. I just didn't have a lot of the time or money to invest into it since I've been in SDI uh, working a uh, full-time job and also doing school full-time. But I do want to let you all know that I am going to start making more quality videos here in the future. Um, and like I said, I want to keep this YouTube alive. I want to keep reviewing stuff for you all. So if you feel like you want to donate uh, to help me buy some things to review for you all, I would be much appreciated. I will also link the Cash App down in the description below this video. But if you want to go ahead and just go to the community uh, page on my YouTube channel, it's already there. I've kind of explained what it's for, which I've just explained to you. And you can donate there if you would uh, like to. If you have any problems donating and if you want to donate and you just have problems donating, email me at the email that I just said in the video. And I'll also link it down in the description. Let me know that you're having a problem donating and then I will uh, take care of that and look at the situation. So if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to slap that like button. If you're new to this channel and you want to get notified to every video that I upload and you like what you see here, go ahead and slap that subscribe button with the notifications turned on. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next video.